the jack by the hedge is really starting to grow quite quickly now and just behind it there we have cleavers or goosegrass both wild edibles Oh, well, good evening everybody it's day 15 can you believe we're into the third week of lockdown seems to have gone so quick but I'm making the most of it or at least I am for an hour <laughs> every day um, I'm pleased to announce that the sunsets are back again as you can see behind me so last night as the uh, title of the video suggests intruders we had intruders I put the bait down as usual um, I set the camera back into the woods but pointing towards the stream and the little bridge I'm trying to find where the fox is coming in so it might well be that I don't get much footage of the next well, who knows but, uh, but yeah so I set the camera went back this morning to retrieve it got back home checked the footage and there was about eight clips so I thought oh great so I watched the first one and it was about half nine last night I left about half eight it was a family of four with torches and uh, they never spotted the camera so that was good and then I got another one about half six this morning I got up at half six and then went, it takes me about ten minutes to get to the site to pick up the camera uh, so somebody was walking the dog at half six the clips in between weren't the fox in fact take a look So yeah, the, uh, the rat had been in taking the cocktail sausages, cleaned up the whole lot because there was no bait left when I arrived this morning. And that would explain why all the uh, bait went when I laid it out on the little footbridge over the stream and around the stream on the banks. So the rat was obviously living down there somewhere. It's come out and uh, got itself a free meal, leaving nothing for the fox. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna try setting the camera different place and I'm going to put the bait a bit higher up out of the way hopefully the rat won't find it might do but uh, we'll just have to wait and see so I've had a question from uh, one of my subscribers A Scott I don't know whether that's a, a bloke or a lady I'm not sure so I apologise for that but they were basically asking about the uh, wildlife camera the Victor as they're looking to get a Victor HC300 the one I've got is the 100 and they were just asking what I thought about the Victor range well I've only uh, ever had the 100 it's the only camera I've ever had and uh, I found it really good for the price I mean I think they're about £35 new the Victor HC100 but I got it off Amazon. Uh, it was discounted at the time, it was £26. 
and uh, I had some vouchers so I used use those to get my camera so I got it at a really good price but yeah for the money it's brilliant um, it's really basic um, you will notice on some cameras they seem to have the I don't know if it's the sensors angled there's two one angled that way one angled the other way so if anything comes from either side it sort of triggers whereas mine has just got a sensor on the front which I suppose might limit the detection a little bit I don't know because I've never ever never, never had another one um, I hope to get another one at some point but not just yet so uh, I think for the money they're great easy to use um, four AA batteries in mine and they last for ages um, I'm still on 95% I think I've put some good batteries in the Duracell ultra mega superpower or something so uh, yeah I've put some good batteries in and obviously it's not recording all the time it's only, it's only when it triggers but, uh, but yeah I think uh, it's a great camera for the money that was the long answer it wasn't really the short answer was it <laughs> I'm using a new securing method tonight. I normally carry these little, these are only short straps from there to the end. They're basically off a, an old action camera and I've fastened two together using one of the uh, locking mechanisms there. And then I've got the buckle at that end. So now, and that just sits nice and flush. Now I can wrap that around a tree quite quickly. Obviously it's got to be a sort of not a very big trunk on it, but I can wrap that around the tree and secure that quite quickly rather than using the big long two metre length of webbing that comes with it. So I'm just going to try that tonight and see how we get on. Look at that there. Some more down there. Now I believe this is called, oh yeah, slime mold it's not actually a fungus it's like a, an amoeba like substance I can see there you see why it's called slime mold Ew. it's not nice to touch I was a bit late uploading the video this morning I had uh, technical issues um, my broadband was not running well today it took me ages to upload the video I had to stop it and start it a few times reboot the broadband router I got there in the end so uh, we've had a chance to watch that one right so the bait's been laid the camera's been set and the fingers are crossed so uh, we'll see what we get in the morning so I hope you enjoyed that if you did give us a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel or you can hit the one down there leave us a comment Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Oh, and don't forget to click that bell icon so you don't miss out on my next video.